Looking to part ways with complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping? Then give your business the edge it needs with USPS Ground Advantage shipping from the United States Postal Service. Keep everything simple with clear upfront pricing and no unexpected surcharges. Keep things affordable with some of the lowest prices out there and keep it all reliable with on-time ground shipments. It's time to turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at usps.com advantage. USPS Ground Advantage, simple, affordable, reliable. This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2754, Stress and Weight Gain, Understanding the Connection, by Sarah Lindberg with Healthline.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. Welcome back to another bonus Sunday episode. This is where we get to hear from one of the other shows in our podcast network. And today's comes from Optimal Health Daily. You can find that show wherever you're listening to this. And with that, here's Dr. Neil with the post and commentary as we optimize your life. Stress and Weight Gain, Understanding the Connection by Sarah Lindberg with Healthline.com. If there's one thing that unites us, it's stress. In fact, data from the 2017 Stress in America survey conducted by the American Psychological Association found that three out of four Americans reported experiencing at least one stress symptom in the last month. Unfortunately, all of this excess stress can lead to an increase in weight. And whether the extra weight is a result of overeating and unhealthy food choices or your body's response to increased levels of cortisol, getting a handle on stress is a priority if you want to prevent stress-related weight gain. What stress does to your body. You may not notice it at first, but stress can have a noticeable effect on your body. From tight muscles and headaches to feeling irritated, overwhelmed, and out of control, stress takes a toll on your physical, mental, and emotional health. In many cases, you'll feel the effects of stress right away. But there are other ways your body responds to stress, such as weight gain, and that may take time to notice. According to Dr. Charlie Seltzer, a weight loss physician, your body responds to stress by increasing levels of cortisol, which gets the body ready to fight or flee. Cortisol, a stress hormone released by the adrenal glands, increases in response to a threat. When you no longer perceive a threat, cortisol levels return to normal. But if stress is always present, you can experience an overexposure to cortisol, which Seltzer says is a problem since cortisol is also a significant appetite stimulant. According to Dr. Seltzer, quote, this is why so many people respond to stress by going for comfort food, end quote. And to make matters worse, Seltzer also points out that excess calories consumed in the setting of high cortisol appear to be preferentially deposited around the middle. What's more, a 2015 study showed that our bodies metabolize nutrients slower under stress. The study found that the women participants who reported one or more stressors during the previous 24 hours burned 104 fewer calories than non-stressed women. To arrive at this figure, researchers interviewed the women about stressful events prior to giving them a high-fat meal to eat. After finishing the meal, the women wore masks that measured their metabolism by calculating inhaled and exhaled airflow of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Not only did it demonstrate a slowdown in their metabolism, but the results also showed that stressed women had higher levels of insulin. The researchers concluded that the 104 fewer calories burned could add almost 11 pounds per year. What are the risks of stress and weight gain? When stress peaks or becomes difficult to manage, more serious long-term health-related consequences can occur. Depression, high blood pressure, insomnia, heart disease, anxiety, and obesity are all linked to untreated chronic stress. The risks associated with weight gain include higher blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, stroke, reproductive problems, a decrease in lung and respiratory function, and an increase in joint pain. Additionally, there's evidence of a connection between obesity and certain cancers, such as pancreatic, esophageal, colon, breast, and kidney cancer. Finally, your mental health can take a hit. An increase in anxiety or depression can also happen when you unintentionally gain weight. How is stress-related weight gain diagnosed? The only way to know if your weight gain is related to stress 
is to see your doctor. According to Dr. Seltzer, quote, that's because stress-related weight gain can only be diagnosed by taking a careful history and ruling out other things like low thyroid function that can also cause weight gain, end quote. Ways to reduce your stress that you can do today. Stress affects all of us at some point. Some people may experience it multiple times a day, while others may only notice it when it begins to interfere with daily tasks. When you're feeling stressed, there are several small steps you can take to calm down, including exercise for 20 to 30 minutes, get outdoors and enjoy nature, nourish your body with healthy foods, cultivate social support like phoning a friend, eliminate one item on your to-do list, take a 10-minute yoga break, ask family for help, practice mindfulness meditation, listen to music, read a book, go to bed one hour earlier, be kind to yourself, say no to one thing that may add stress, spend time with a pet, practice 10 minutes of deep breathing, and if these tend to aggravate you, reduce your caffeine and alcohol intakes. Treatment for stress-related weight gain. Treating and managing stress-related weight gain starts with a visit to your doctor's office to discuss your concerns. After a thorough exam, they'll rule out any other health issues and help you come up with a plan to manage your weight and reduce stress. In addition to implementing the stress-busting steps I just described, your doctor may recommend working with a registered dietitian that specializes in stress and weight loss. A registered dietitian can help you develop a balanced nutrition plan that fits your needs. Your doctor may also suggest working with a psychologist or therapist to develop strategies to manage your stress. And finally, your doctor may also talk with you about medication if your stress is related to chronic anxiety or depression. What's the outlook for people with stress and weight gain? People with chronic high stress are susceptible to several health-related issues, including heart disease, digestive issues, sleep deprivation, high blood pressure, cognitive impairment, anxiety, depression, diabetes, stroke, and a host of other conditions. Additionally, extra weight may increase your risk for diabetes and certain cancers. With proper treatment, including medical interventions and lifestyle modifications, you can lower your stress levels, reduce stress-related weight gain, and decrease the chances of developing a long-term health condition. The takeaway. Chronic stress can lead to weight gain. The good news is there are simple and effective ways to reduce daily stressors and consequently, manage your weight. Through regular exercise, healthy food choices, mindfulness meditation, and minimizing your to-do list, you can begin to reduce stress and manage weight. You just listened to the post titled Stress and Weight Gain, Understanding the Connection by Sarah Lindberg with Healthline.com. Looking to part ways with complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping? Then give your business the edge it needs with USPS Ground Advantage shipping from the United States Postal Service. Keep everything simple with clear upfront pricing and no unexpected surcharges. Keep things affordable with some of the lowest prices out there and keep it all reliable with on-time ground shipments. It's time to turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at usps.com slash advantage. USPS Ground Advantage, simple, affordable, reliable. It goes without saying that a lot of people don't know where to start when it comes to investing. Many think you need a lot of money to invest. Some put off investing because it doesn't seem urgent. Acorns makes it easy to start automatically saving and investing for your future. You don't need a lot of money or expertise to invest with Acorns. In fact, you can get started with just your spare change. Acorns recommends an expert-built portfolio that fits you and your money goals, then automatically invests your money for you. And I love Acorns because I feel that this type of automation is exactly the boost needed for the many people who like the idea of investing, but haven't felt ready to begin for whatever reason. So head to acorns.com slash OFD or download the Acorns app to start saving and investing for your future today. Paid non-client endorsement may not be representative of all clients. Tier one compensation provided. Compensation provides an incentive to positively promote Acorns. View important disclosures at acorns.com slash OFD. Investing involves risk, including the loss of principal. Please consider your objectives, risk tolerance, and Acorns fees before investing. Acorns Advisors, LLC. Acorns is an SEC-registered investment advisor.
Brokerage services are provided to clients of Acorns by Acorn Securities, LLC. Member FINRA SIPC. For more information, visit acorns.com. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. All right, so when we're under long-term stress, the body suffers. You get that. And what's even more frustrating is that stress can make us eat more. Then those excess calories like to get stored as fat, not in our wrists or forearms where it wouldn't be such a big deal, but instead fat around our abdomen, around the belly button area. Okay, don't get mad at me. I promised I would end on a positive note and I will keep that promise. Okay, well, one more piece of not so great news first. We can't avoid stress. Do you know what it's called when all of your stress has disappeared? It's called death. So please don't wish for a stress-free life. Instead, we need to get better at turning stress into something positive. This is easier said than done, I know, but it can be done. A leading researcher in the field of stress management, Dr. Kelly McGonigal, has a fantastic 12-minute TED Talk that I show my students every semester. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna tell you her main point. But again, I still encourage you to watch it. She explains it so much better than I do. And yes, I might have a major crush on her. Anywho, she says that whenever we feel our bodies getting stressed, we need to remind ourselves that this increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, increased sweat rate, our body is actually trying to optimize our performance. The body is trying to help us perform at our best. So when we feel stressed, try and remind yourself that this is very normal. My body and brain are just trying to help me do my best. Turn the stress response into something positive. This little trick alone will reduce some of the long-term harmful effects of stress because we're turning it into something positive and not something that's making us feel worse. See, I told you I'd live up to my promise. All right, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening every day. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. And I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.